Thanks for joining us for the Purdue University CME Group Ag Economy Barometer October 2020 survey results. I'm Jim Minter, director of the Purdue Center for Commercial Agriculture, and I'm going to share some of the highlights of this month's survey with you. The Ag Economy Barometer set a new record high at a reading of 183, up from 156 a month ago, and exceeding the previous high that was established back in February at 168. The Index of Current Conditions and the Index of Future Expectations both set record highs as well. The Index of Future Expectations had a reading of 186, up from 163, and the Index of Current Conditions had a reading of 178, up from 142. The Farm Capital Investment Index also set a record high in October with a reading of 82, up nine points from the 73 it was a set back in September and also exceeding the previous high we had back in February of 72. In a follow-up question, we've been asking farmers about their plans for farm equipment purchases in the upcoming year compared to a year ago. And farmers have been telling us that they plan to increase their purchases of farm equipment compared to a year ago. If you look at September, 11% of the farmers said that they plan to increase their purchases. In October, that was up to 14%. And the percentage of farmers that said they were gonna hold their equipment purchases constant with a year ago was also increasing to a reading of 53% versus 49% in September. Farmers became more optimistic about ag exports in October compared to September. And in particular, they became more optimistic about uh, future ag trade with China. 59% of the respondents in this month's survey said they thought it was likely that China would fulfill the phase one trade agreement with the US versus 47% that felt that way just a month earlier. Farmers became more optimistic about farmland values. 27% of the farmers in this month's survey said they expected farmland values to rise over the next year. That compares to 23% that felt that way a month ago and up dramatically from the 7% that felt that way back in April. In a follow-up question, we've been asking farmers for the last couple of months about their expectations for farmland cash rental rates in 2021 versus 2020. And there was a significant change in October versus September. In September, only 8% of the farmers said they expected to see cash rental rates rise in 2021. In October, 38% of the respondents to the survey said they expected to see higher cash rental rates in 2021 versus 2020. That wraps up our results for this month's survey. You can get a complete copy of the report at our website, purdue.edu slash agbarometer. And you can also join us for our next Fall Crop Outlook webinar coming up on November 11th at 1130 a.m. That information on that webinar is available at the Center for Commercial Agriculture's website, purdue.edu slash commercialag. On behalf of the Center for Commercial Agriculture, I'm Jim Minnert. Thanks for joining us.